This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project web pages at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445689-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash P-R-O-J-E-C-T forward slash 445689-1 or www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442885-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash P-R-O-J-E-C-T forward slash 442885-1. Encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by October 25th, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. This public meeting is being recorded. A recording of this presentation is posted on the project's web pages. The Florida Department of Transportation is required to comply with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or by email at jenniffer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacquelline dot p a r a m o r e at d o t dot state dot f l dot u s. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the hearing notifications. This public meeting was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register, on FDOT's public notices website, in Florida Today, and on social media, and on the project webpage. In addition. Adjacent property owners, interested individuals, elected and appointed officials, and government agencies were also notified about this public meeting. In this meeting, we will present information on two projects located on State Road 520 in the City of Cocoa in Brevard County. The purpose of both projects is to enhance vehicle and pedestrian safety. The projects are being designed together, but will be constructed separately. We will begin with the first project, number 445689-1. This project begins at Cox Road and runs for 2.46 miles to Aurora Street. The existing conditions on State Road 520 from Cox Road to Aurora Street include two lanes in each direction with either a concrete or grassy raised median and left and right turn lanes in several areas. Each side of the road also has a sidewalk and bike lane. There are also crosswalks at the intersections. This project proposes to make changes to the existing median to improve safety. These changes are based on an access management study completed in June 2019. The study was conducted to address crash trends along the corridor. In addition to extending left turn lanes to provide more space for vehicles, 
The project recommends reducing a number of conflict points through access management changes or median modifications. Other safety enhancements include intersection improvements including new crosswalks and curb extensions and enhanced lighting. Access management is the coordinated planning, regulation, and design of access between roadways and land development, such as driveways and side streets. The goal of access management is to promote efficient and safe movement of people and goods through the corridor by reducing conflict points or places where vehicles can legally cross paths and potentially collide. A traditional intersection has at least 18 conflict points. The recommendations to enhance safety along this corridor include closing some median openings and constructing directional median openings at other locations. One type of directional median opening is a two-way or bi-directional opening, which reduces the number of angle, left turn, or U-turn conflict points from 18 to just four. It would allow left turns in both directions from the median, but does not allow left turns from side roads across the main roadway, thus reducing the number of major conflict points. For this project, the suggested locations for bi-directional medians include Lakeview Boulevard, Bob Steele Chevrolet, Space Coast Honda, east of two-day deals auto sales, and at Virginia Avenue. The second type of directional median opening is a left-in only opening, which reduces the number of angle, left turn, or U-turn conflict points from 18 to 2. It allows left turns in only one direction from the median and does not allow left turns from the side road across the main roadway. The safety study recommended left-in only openings at Simply Storage, Coco Hyundai, Aurora Street, and the Coco Police Department. The safety study also suggested closing some existing median openings, which eliminate all left turn, U-turn, or angle conflict points. It does not allow left turns from any direction. It would require drivers to make a U-turn at an adjacent opening. The median closure locations suggested in the study include at Midgard Storage, Air Gas Store, Lois Lane, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, Amber Acres, Kay's Barbecue, RJL Auto, Grace Avenue, and Ruth Avenue. The U-turn locations east of Range Road and east of Lois Lane will also be closed. Design for project number 445689-1, Cox Road to Aurora Street, is anticipated to finish in early 2022 at an estimated cost of $1.2 million. This project will be done within the FDOT right-of-way. Construction is anticipated to begin in fall 2023. The estimated construction cost for this project is $4.4 million. The second project, number 442885-1, begins at Aurora Street and runs 2.25 miles to Hubert Humphrey Causeway. The recommended improvements are based on a review of the roadway, as well as the State Road 520 Corridor Planning and Concept Development Study, completed in 2016. The existing conditions on State Road 520 from Aurora Street to Hubert Humphrey Causeway include two lanes in each direction up to US 1. The road then splits with eastbound traffic on King Street and westbound traffic on Willard Street. There are three through lanes in some areas with extended turn lanes in both directions. There are several businesses located in the middle. There are sidewalks on both sides of State Road 520. There are no bike lanes. In addition to repaving State Road 520 from Aurora Street to Hubert Humphrey Causeway, FDOT recommends repurposing the outside lane on eastbound State Road 520 from US 1 to Hubert Humphrey Causeway. Repurposing the outside travel lane will accommodate a new 7-foot wide parking lane with four parking spots beginning just east of where the roadway divides. Additionally, the lane repurposing allows the extension of a right turn lane up to Hewlett Avenue. Also included in the project are several pedestrian safety improvements, such as reconstructing and extending the curbs in some areas to shorten pedestrian crossing distances, adding new sidewalks to close gaps, upgrading pedestrian signals, enhancing crosswalks, and reconstructing curb ramps to comply with the current Americans with Disabilities Act standards. Other improvements include removing obsolete driveways and reconstructing other driveways, modifying existing medians and traffic separators, and drainage adjustments. Once construction begins, the department will keep at least one lane in each direction of State Road 520 open at all times. 
Drivers should expect lane closures during off-peak hours, which may cause some delays. Access to all businesses and residences will be maintained. Design for Project 442885-1 from Aurora Street to Hubert Humphrey Causeway is anticipated to finish in early 2022. All improvements will be constructed within the FDOT right-of-way. Construction is anticipated to begin late 2022 at an estimated cost of $9 million. To learn more about this project, you can go to www.cflroads.com, enter either project number 445-689-1 or 442-885-1 in the search box at the top of the screen and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by October 25th, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a print and comment form and return to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-689-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-689-1 and www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442-885-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442-885-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly to eliod.joseph at dot.state.fl.us. That's E-L-I-O-D-E dot J-O-S-E-P-H at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may mail written comments and questions to Project Manager Elio Joseph at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the Project Manager at 386-943-5388 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by October 25th. Contact information, a recording of this public meeting, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting will be posted on the project websites at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-689-1 or www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442-885-1. You can also take a virtual tour of both State Road 520 projects. Hold your cell phone camera up to the QR code, then click on the link when it pops up on your phone. If you can't get to the QR code right now, the presentation is also available online at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-689-1 or www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442-885-1 and you can use the QR code from there. Thank you and have a great evening.